Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about assignment operators in java programming so guys these are some of the assignment operators that we will see in this video so the very first assignment operator is a very simple assignment operator that we have seen in the previous examples as well the other ones are add and assignment this means that the existing number will be added by a fixed value or some another variable and then that number will be assigned to the variable similarly we have subtract multiply and divide an assignment so guys, Guys, let us understand all these with the help of examples so let us say we have this main method over here i'll just clear the previous code and then let's say we have integer that is number over here and then number is equal to 10 so guys this is a very simple operator and then let me just print this value the value of number is and then we provide the variable name that is number let me just save this file and try running this code. So guys, it says the value of number is 10. So this is a very simple assignment operator that we can use that is equal to. Now guys, let us say we want to add some number that is to this particular number variable, we want to add five. So what we do usually is we provide a number is equal to number plus five. This we have already seen previously that this is the way in which we can add some numbers to the existing variables. So this number will be taken that is 10 and then plus 5 meaning we will be adding 5 over here to this existing number and the sum of this operation will be assigned to this number variable and the same number variable will be printed over here. So let me just save this file and try running this code. So as we can see value of number is 15. Now guys what will be the shortcut way in order to write the same line of code and here is where we will use the add and assignment operator that is plus equal to. So guys over here instead of doing equal to number plus 5 we can remove this part that is we can remove the number and the plus operator and then we can provide the plus operator just before this equal to operator. So we have this add and assignment operator over here. So guys what this will do is I will just provide a comment over here that is the number it is equal to number plus 5 so what is happening over here is first 5 will be added to this number and then after the sum is found the equal to operator is used over here in order to assign the sum to this number and then the same number will get printed over here so guys this is the shorthand method that we can use in order to add the number and save the sum in the same variable itself so let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see value of number is 15 and in this way we can easily use the shorthand method i'll change the number of 5 over here to 15 so let us see what will be the output of this code so let me just save this file and try running this code so as you can see value of number is 25 that's because the number was 10 initially and then we added 15 to that number guys in the same way we have the minus and assignment operator as well so this is subtraction so instead of plus we will put minus over here i'll just remove this comment over here so as we can see we have 10 minus 15 which will be equal to minus 5 so the same should get printed so as we can see value of number is minus 5 and then in order to have the positive number let's say we'll just remove 5 out of 10 so i've just changed this to 5 let me save this file and try running this code so as we can see value of number is 5 and in this way we can easily use the subtract and assignment operator as well similarly we have multiply and assignment so instead of this subtract we will put multiply over here so it will be 10 multiply by 5 so let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see value of number is 50 so guys this is same like we have number equal to number multiply by 5 so this is a little lengthy process you have to write a lot of characters over here in order to have the shorthand method we can use the multiply and then equal to operator over here the another operator is divide so in the same way we can divide the two numbers as well so it will be number divided by equal to 5 this means that the value of the number that is 10 will be divided by 5 and then the result will be stored in the number itself so let me save this file and try running this code so as we can see value of number is 2 that is because 10 divided by 5 now guys what if the number that we have provided doesn't exactly divide the already existing value of the number so let's say we change the value to 6 over here in this case we won't get a perfect quotient because the variable is of the integer type in this case so we won't get a float number so let me just save this file and try running this code to see what will happen 
So as we can see value of number is 1 in this case and guys always remember that division provides us the quotient value. In order to get the decimal value we have to change the data type to double. So let's say we put double over here. So we have the double data type and then we have 10 divided by 6. So we'll just save this file. I'll just remove this comment over here. Let me save this file and try running this code. So as we can see value of number is 1.66 and then the recurring numbers and guys in this way in order to get the decimal number we have to have the data type of the number appropriately let me just change this value to int over here and now guys what if we want to check the remainder that is 10 divided by 6 is 1 in this case when the data type is int over here let me run this once again so the value of number is 1 what if we want to get the remainder of this so instead of this divide operator we can have the percent operator which will provide the remainder of the division of the two numbers let me just save this file and try running this code so as we can see value of number is 4 that is 10 divided by 6 quotient is 1 remainder is 4 if we change this value to 8 then the remaining value will be 2 in this case let me run this code again so as we can see value of number is 2 in this case and in this way we can easily use the shorthand operators in order to quickly do some manipulation with the numbers or do some arithmetic operations with the numbers. So guys that's it in this video. Please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well. The next video that we are going to talk about is logical operators in Java programming. So stay tuned.